Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, it's still the same day. If you haven't seen the other video which I posted, I was cleaning the kitchen in the morning and now it's uh, midday and I'm cooking lunch. I thought maybe I will take you with me. So, yesterday we went eating somewhere in the restaurant and we ate so good. So today I don't feel like cooking something very uh, um, complicated. I'm just going to make simple spaghetti bolognese. So I have meat here. Yeah, I have meat, minced meat and then spaghetti, barilla. I love these barilla ones because they are very nice. Uh, also, I'm going to try if I can make, uh, normally when I cook spaghetti, I always think they are so little, but when they are cooked, I have a whole, oh, lots of spaghetti and then ah, sometimes you don't finish them and I don't want to throw away food now. So I think I'm going to Google in the internet how much uh, grams is for three people because we are two adults and one kid. Yeah, so I'm going to put it for three people. No, for all for four people. I'm going to make four portions. Yes, um, but I think before I start cooking, I'm going to pick some salad. But before I go, I will leave the water cooking now. And then I'm going to pick some fresh, fresh salad from uh, from our grandma because she lives just next door to us. So let me leave the water cooking. And actually, I can Google right now. Uh, where's my mobile phone? Let me see. So let me see how much. <laughs> uh, Sorry, the water is running here. Yeah, let me see how much grams uh, spaghetti for four people. For four portions. Yeah, so yeah four people how much spaghetti let me see how much grams i need i think i would like to try cooking uh, like that yeah so i have put the water here just going to switch the oven on number nine then it will get hot very fast then i'm going to put a little bit of salt in the water I'm going to put some salt in the water so it can cook faster. So, so let me see what the Google, Mr. Google has to say. How much spaghetti do I need for? Uh, let me see. Oh, someone said um, 125 to 150 grams per person. Wow, it's quite a lot. Someone says 500 grams is for four people. Mm -hmm. So how much? Oh, wow. But this is a lot. This packet has 500 grams. And someone is saying that for four people you need 500 grams. I think it's too much. No, it can't be. Oh. I think I'll just... Uh -huh. Someone said for two people they cook 250 grams. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just going to put half of the packet. 
yeah i'm going to put half of the packet because this has 500 grams and yeah i don't know so let me go pick some salad i will also leave the meat cooking and then i will show you when i'm done so i normally don't cook with onions or anything because since i got pregnant i can't stand the smell and the taste of onions so i'm going to put very little olive oil in the pan um, in the pan and then i'm going to put the meat directly on the pan without onion yeah so what i use instead of onion and actually if i cook for you without onion you will not even know that there was no on onion inside so i just put the meat directly inside like this the, then I make sure that the heat is not too much that it's not sticking so you have to keep mixing so that it doesn't stick and then uh, when you cover it, it will make, it will produce its own water. So I let it cook with that own water until I'm satisfied that it's uh, completely cooked. When it's completely cooked, is when then I put spices. And then when I put the spices, you will not even miss the onion. But if you are an onion lover, you can go on and cook. Uh, with your onion but the way I cook it I love it and my whole family loves it and no one complains that they are missing onions so yeah this is how I cook my sauce for the spaghetti so stay tuned to see the outcome so now I'm going to cover it because now I have put a low heat heat number four according to my oven Maybe I can put even number 5, but I have no stress because I have to go pick the salad and come back. So anyway, I, can, I will put number 5, so that by the time I come back, it will have produced enough water. So I'm going to leave it to simmer until I come back. I don't know how long I will take. And then our spaghetti water is here cooking slowly slowly let me reduce the heat I'm going to make maybe number seven yeah yeah number seven and for the meat number five it's medium because my highest heat is number nine so I'm uh, five is medium but when I come back um, I can cook it faster if I want but I still have time I still have time before I still have half an hour before my son come from the kindergarten and his daddy from work yeah so I, ha I have no stress so i don't know if i can take you with me to pick the salad or i go alone yeah let me think I am back from picking up the salad and as you can see as I said I wait for the meat to produce its own water you can see it did not stick I was about 10 minutes away so now at this point is when I put my spices <coughs> sorry I don't even like putting a lot of spices I only put Maggi I have these cubes Normally I have, uh, I, I use these cubes, this is from for chicken but it doesn't matter, you can take chicken or beef or yeah, but as for today I'm going to take this chicken one, sometimes I take one or sometimes I take two, it depends on how spicy I want it to be, to get, 
yeah so I, when I put it like this it will start it will if you're not careful now it will stick it will stick now because of the maggie so I'm just going to uh, turn it around so that it's not sticking and then at this point is when I put the tomato sauce Yes, so let me see which one I have today. I have this basilico, it's very good. So this is the one I'm going to be using. So I just use one jar, one jar like this. So I'm going to put some water inside because there's still some left, like that. And then I will leave it to cook very slowly until until my boys come is when I'm now going to turn it around. So I'm just going to let some get inside like that. Like this. Normally if I had a second one uh, tomato sauce I would have put but I, I, as for now I only have one. So I'm just going to to leave it like that and then before I take it out later I will taste um, if the spice is good enough let me even taste I can even taste now but I don't want it to become too salty so yeah so if you don't like a lot of spices you can put one but if you want it spicy like me you can put two yeah, so my son is three, he can eat spices, so it's not a problem. He has no problem with spices. Mm, I think one will still do one more. So I'm going to put a second cube inside. So I haven't put salt here inside. This is the reason why I can put more spice, because there is no salt. But if you put salt and these cubes, then it will be too salty. So now I'm going to leave it in peace for about 20 minutes and then it will be completely yummy. So my water has cooked now as you can see the water is cooked. Now I'm going to add the spaghetti as I said. Let me try to put one hand full and see if it will be enough for us three. I hope so because I don't want to throw food away so this is half of the packet I think it should be enough for us I'm not sure but these spaghetti they are so tricky when you put them inside they look so less but after, after it's cooked you see the pan is full of spaghetti I don't understand I never understand. So I still have a feeling like it's too little. <laughs> I'm going to add some more. I will add just a small portion like this. And I don't cut them. I just leave them like that. They will go they will go down slowly, slowly, slowly because I have no stress. They will go down slowly, most most. So da -da. Yeah. So now I'm going to let them cook. And this is how I make them. They will go down slowly, slowly, no stress. And this one I'm going to leave it for 20 minutes until they come, until they come. So yeah. So as for now, I'm going to take care of the salad as I promised you. So I have taken salad from my grandma's garden. I have a clip on my mobile phone. I'm going to sneak it somewhere. I'm going to put it so you can see so now let's clean the salad let's clean the salad let me clean the salad now yes let me put it I think like this and you can see better so I'm going to clean the salad then we can eat. 
So I have gotten two of them. These salads are so yummy, fresh from the garden. Oh my god, so good. I love salad. I love salad so much. Fresh from the garden. No chemicals, nothing. Just nature. But grandma says that the one she will now plant, she don't think they will be so good anymore like this one. But anyway, we have enjoyed them. We have enjoyed this salad for the last two months. They have served us. When you eat this fresh uh, salad from the garden, oh my god. It becomes so difficult to adapt again to the one from the supermarket. Because the one from the supermarket is more hard, and this is soft, this is really soft, and yeah, so in winter it is always a problem for me to adapt again to the supermarket salad, but this is life, you can't have everything, so we enjoy this uh, summer season a lot. Because it's when we, we get to enjoy this fresh salad and then in winter we just cope with the supermarket salad. But as for now, it's really amazing. We just have to clean it very well because of snails. But they are just very small snails, baby snails, so it's not a big deal. It's normal because there are no chemicals, you know. You can't expect it to be insect free. But that is not a big deal for us. For me, because I'm used, I know how to wash it. You just have to wash it like two or three times. The one from the supermarket, normally one time washing it's enough because it has no insects, but this one you wash two to three times or sometimes I soak it in the water for a long time and then after soaking it then I dress it yeah you just have to wash carefully but this is normal So I have washed uh, this one. This one normally it's clean enough because it was just a small one. But for this big one, um, I'm going to soak it inside here for a while because because snails, just small baby snails, but you know. So. Let me see. So I'm going to cut it um, depending. Let me remove it like this first. Then I will see.
so now the food is ready as you can see it's very very yummy it's very yummy the spaghetti are enough for three actually four people so I did a good job <laughs> now it's time to eat yeah my boy is almost here I can see the bus but the daddy is bringing him and the salad is finished and well marinated wow now it's time to eat I have been craving salad like crazy like I, I eat everyday salad a lot yeah so the salad is here uh, we need cheese parmesan and the spaghetti are also here ready ready so time to eat time to eat Mama. yes hello Mama. Die Leute, was uns zuschauen. Mhm. Mhm. So, was tun wir dann jetzt? Fenster schauen? Oh, oh. Ja. <lacht> ja. So, I'm going to end it. Uh... So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye bye. So shower, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. See you in the in the next video.